Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the easy Falador achievement diary tasks. The quest requirements are Ruin Mysteries, Doric's Quest and partly completed the Knight's Sword Quest. Skill requirements are 5 Agility, 10 Mining, 13 Smithing and 16 Construction. Items needed are 1000 GP, 2000 if you are female, an empty bucket, a tiara, a mind talisman, a hammer and any pickaxe that you can use. Then for the suggested items, it's some food to pass aggressive monsters up until combat 57, 2 or 3 teleports to Felador, 1 skill necklace charge and 1 mind altar teleport if you want to be the fastest, and then weight reducing armor and 1 stamina potion which will be helpful. Next, to complete our first task, let's go south and let's enter the White Knight's castle. Here, let's go east, open three doors and climb up the eastern ladder. Let's go west, open the door first, enter the room behind the table and here sitting on his desk we will find Sir Renity. Talk to him, select the first option, what can you do for me? Select the first option, can you see what family crest I have? Select the first option, thanks, if you have not checked it already. And this will be your first task completed. Next, let's go back downstairs and let's return to the Faldo Square. Here at Felado Square, just go a little bit northwest and we should find a water sign just north of the entrance to the hairdresser. Use your bucket on the water pump to complete your second task. Next, open the door and let's enter the building of the hairdresser. First, unequip your helmet and then right click on him and use the haircut option. First option, change the hairstyle. Choose any that you like, choose any color that you like and confirm with 1000 GP. Third task completed, next exit the building and go southwest. Now we will need to climb over this shortcut to go to Taverly and the Dark Mages and stuff. Let's climb over the crumbling wall, then climb back over the wall and go back to Feldor. Next, let's go to the Felder Park. Now we'll need to kill a level 2 duck. You can use melee if you want to, but therefore you will need to wait for a duck to be near the edge of the pond. If you want to make it easy for yourself, just use any range or mage weapon. Once you've entered the pond, let's wait for a duck to be near the edge of the pond and kill it. This will be your fifth task completed. Next, we will need to run or teleport to Model Load Mine. If you don't know where it is, just go east to the most eastern building and climb down the stairs. If you have a skill necklace, just use the second option, Model Load Mine. And once you've climbed down that stairs, you will be here in the Scorpion Mine. Just go south to the dungeon sign, enter the cave, and then go south. Use your pickaxe to mine the rockfall. Let's go a little bit southeast and to the western side of this water. Here we'll find broken struts. If they're not broken, just hop to different worlds until you find some broken struts. Fix at least one of them and this will be task number 6 completed. Next, let's run or teleport to the Felador East Eastern Bank. Next, we will need to go to Entrana. So, let's go to the Felador Eastern Bank and deposit all your uh, weapons and armor that are not allowed on Entrana. Except for your pickaxe, because that is what we will need uh, later. 
I'm going to deposit my bucket of water because it weighs a little bit and because I don't really have any armor or weapons. Weight reducing armor and enchanted jewelry are a-okay. Besides my pickaxe, I have nothing that is not allowed on Entrana, so let's go to Port Serem. But first we will need to go to the farm shop of Felador. So after passing the guards and exiting Felador, let's go east and enter the cow field. Next go a little bit southeast. Go through to open the back door. Right click and trade Sarah. This will be task number 7 completed. Next, go south and enter port Sarem. Now we just need to go to the Monks of Entrana. Once we have reached the Monks of Entrana, just uh, quickly drop your pickaxe and travel to Antrana. If you're not allowed, just drop some other armor and things that you're not allowed to take there. Travel to Antrana, cross the gangplank and then just quickly return to Port Serum to pick up your pickaxe. Okay, next we'll need to go to the Port Serim prison. This is located just south of the fishing shop and food shop. So here, fishing shop, south is the food shop, and south of the food shop there is the Port Serim prison, just like in the Dragon Slayer quest. Enter the prison and go south. Here we find a ladder sign on the western side of the building. Climb up to the second floor and go north. Here we should find a security guard. Talk to him and you'll get a security book. Drop it and go back downstairs. Next we will need to mine some blurite. So exit the prison and go south. Now you can completely skip all of this if you already have blurite ore or a blurite bar in your bank. But since this is very unlikely, go south and enter the Port Serim dungeon. Let's climb down the trapdoor, pause the muggers and let's go all the way to the end to the ice giants. Alright, here at the icy area, just keep going east to the eastern wall. Here you should find a mining sign. Go stand north of the blue right ore and because there is a stalagmite, none of the ice warriors will be able to attack you. This is a safe spot. Mine one blue right ore and teleport yourself back to Falador. Next, use the furnace, use your blue right ore on it. Wait a second, go north. And now we just need to go to Dorex Anvil, north of Falador, to make it into Blue Right Limbs, and this will be the second to last task completed. Alright, enter his building, use the bar on the anvil, be sure to select the right option, the crossbow limbs. Task number 12 completed, one more to go, and this is to make a mined tiara. This is located just east of the goblin village. You can run north to the wilderness ditch and just follow it a little bit east to the mined altar, or you can just use the Arceus spellbook teleport and then just use your Mind Talisman on the Mysterious Ruins. Go to the Runecrafting Altar, use your Talisman on the Altar with a Tiara in your inventory 
you'll make a mind tiara and this will be your last task completed. Let's use our last teleport to Falador. Let's return to the White Knights. Let's return to the White Knights uh, playground, let's say, to claim our reward. Here we should talk to Sir Rebrol. You will get Faldor Shield 1 and an Antique Land which gives you 2500 experience in any skill that you want, if it is at least a level 30 or higher. Next, you've also unlocked the shortcut between Berthope and the Chaos Temple, right there. And the second reward is that you can now recharge 25 of your prayer points daily by just clicking on the recharge prayer option of your Faldor Shield 1. Alright, this was my guide how to complete the Felder Easy Diary. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.